Virgo. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with another tarot card message for you today. Make sure you come in liking, subscribing, adding value to the channel so that we can continue to grow and get the message out there. We're using the Rider Waite Tarot deck today to pull in some messages for the collective. Partake in the energies, butterflies, monarch. Are you going to land on my friggin' nose? Are you serious? Are you trying to have a conversation with me here? Jumpers, okay. We got monarchs and then we have uh, all yellow butterfly. Yeah, these guys literally uh, <laughs> flying right in my face to have a conversation with me. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? What are the energies for um, our Virgo collective today? Messages for the earth sign Virgo spirit. All right, now we already have positive jumpers coming out here. We, ooh, earth sign energy, the Hierophants. So you're attempting to stand in your energy here, very abundant, very grounded, and very stable. You could be very disciplined as Virgos are, paying very close attention to detail. So you have some sort of a spiritual higher consciousness about yourself, or maybe you've had some sort of a religious upbringing that provided you with some sort of a sturdy background or grounding for yourself. Six of Pentacles. This could be marriage. Definitely marriage or some sort of a relationship here. Could be involved in some sort of a courtship, maybe arranged marriage. Deeply uh, religious here. This could be like um, a Muslim. The Muslim culture or Muslim religion or discipline, should I say. Providing uh, some sort of anointing or healing. Mm, I'm not sure if those were the right words. Some sort of a charity. All right. Reciprocation and equal give and take. You're probably some sort of a mm, the full card, a content creator, someone that's not afraid to take an event. Uh, okay, take advantage. All right, to go on a journey or go on some sort of an adventure here. This is a self-starter. The fool doesn't have a problem learning new things. That's the whole point of the fool's journey, to upgrade yourself, your consciousness, your perspective of things here. Maybe even wanting to have a little fun here on the weekend, if I was to channel that message a little bit more. Be very careful. Yeah, took the words right out of my mouth. Be very careful. Don't partake too much into people's energy and into uh, toxic substances. I do see someone paying for some sort of okay what do we have like a concert coming up here the fool a celebrity paying uh, admission here six of pinnacles substances here strangers around you here the higher fonts possibly church is this a wedding e some sort of a wedding family gathering family reunion could be a block party or something like that remember Dave Chappelle's block party <laughs> I think it came out when I was in high school. What else do we have here? Six of Swords. Leaving behind toxicity. Wanting some sort of a vacation or reprieve from thoughts, from words. Maybe you're seeking quiet, stillness. Hmm. With the Ten of Cups, I'm getting home activity. So you're... Ooh. Maybe you're being pulled out to go do something here. Maybe you're a homebody. And you prefer it that way? Again, Virgos are very shy and secretive. The major arcana for Virgo would be the hermit, which would be hermiting yourself in the house. But uh, someone's uh, about to get ready to get taken on an adventure. This is like a magic carpet ride, but yet in the boat. <laughs> Aladdin. Now we have Six of Pentacles and we have Six of Swords. So uh, victory is coming out here. This could be... Um, some sort of a speech maybe this is a comedy show or something like that what's going down at the hard rock this weekend i need to figure out what's going on we got mad butterflies around me right now butterflies moths all that sort of thing we had moths sitting on my lap earlier bugs just won't stop coming towards me more monarchs <laughs> just hovering in my face <laughs> uh let's see knight of wands passion creativity and inspiration here Someone's definitely wanting to come towards you, get you out of your uh, comfort zone. They could be paying for some sort of a date as it comes on top of the Six of Pentacles. So they're wanting to finance some sort of a date with you, get you out of your comfort zone. 
maybe take you on some sort of an art trip or something like that. I'm not sure why I'm getting art. This could be some sort of a, a an art exhibit or museum or something like that. What is this? Yeah, it could be some some sort of a comedy show or something like that. I don't think this is necessarily like wanting to go out to like a club or a bar. This is a uh, like somewhere where you can go to and get uh, some sort of a mental uh, clarity, mental release. They're trying to get you out of your head here. Maybe you've been overworking yourself. Virgo, paying too close attention to the details. Queen of Swords, a Libra. This could be a Libra that's coming towards you here. They're willing to listen to what you got to say. Yeah, I got to do this. I got to get this done. I got to get that done. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Full card. <laughs> Hey, man, sometimes you just got to get up and go. You never know what can happen at the end of the day, man. We may not even wake up. Sometimes you just want to say F it and take that opportunity to go out for even if it's just an hour or two. A movie itself is what, an hour and a half? A walk on the beach is what, an hour, an hour and a half? A lunch date or something like that is an hour. Go out. Even if it's a 30-minute lunch break. Let someone uh, give you a, a laugh here. Yeah, the fool. Definitely dealing with a comedy show or someone wanting to take you out of your comfort zone. They want to bring you some sort of a laughter here or bring you some sort of a, a childlike uh, state of mind or confident, yeah, confidence here. Now, you could be trying to act all... Uh, you, you could be uh, turned off or feel like uh, this person is coming off weird or something like that. I'm not sure why I'm using the word weird. Or foolish you could be feel like this person is acting foolish here but where will we be without the fools of the world right women love their children so much that's a fool we start the fool's journey as a child and then we grow up and become adults and then we end off life back into a fool's place as an old decrepit individual here right not to say it like that but you know what I mean come in as a baby and we come in with diapers and we leave out with diapers <laughs> balance someone's wanting to bring balance to you juggling here they're helping you uh, take things off of your plate here or something about a table here something that they can bring to a tape bring to the table to help you relax here yeah happy family lineage providing you with laughter providing you with uh, friendship Three of Swords. Why would Three of Swords be showing up here? This could this could possibly be your energy here. Your your <laughs> someone's fighting love here, or someone's throwing up all types of excuses or smoke screens, not providing or getting enough attention about how they uh, they can't they can't do something. It's always the I can't. See these, these words and these spells that we put on ourselves. I can't. But when they want to do something, they'll do it, right? Hmm. King of Wands coming out here. Woo. Sexual attraction, man. Someone's definitely strategizing to come towards you for some sort of a fun. Very, this person has a lot of uh, spirit. They have a lot of energy here. And yet they're a fool. They take leaps of faith. They, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say they, they don't have boundaries. They tend, to, they tend to juggle a lot though. They can have several things on their plate, just like you. So you guys have a lot in common here. We have the Queen of Swords, balance. And we have it again, balance. It's just we have different people. Different people balance things in a certain way. Mm -hmm. It's almost like having writer's block. You'll have someone that sit that'll sit at a desk with writer's block in one of the most painful situations to be in. They'll just sit there, sit there, sit there uh, until they get it out. That's one way of trying to figure it out, I guess, if that's what you want to do. But the other way of dealing with writer's block is to go out, have fun, and be inspired. Leave the problem alone for a minute. Go out. And then come back toward, towards it when you have some sort of a clarity. You actually get your aha moment. You're holding, someone's holding themselves back, boy. <laughs> and I think that was your last message here. Major Arcana, the fool.
in adventure, any higher font. So this is more of less uh, someone coming in. This could be some sort of a religious individual here or someone with a higher anointing. Could be, be perceived as a boss, a CEO. Or some, again, someone very disciplined here. Knight of Wands energy, King of Wands energy. Very creative and passionate. Could be dealing with a content creator. Very sexy and attractive here. They're very balanced here. Maybe some sort of a motivational speaker. Now we get balance in two different cards. Juggling here and then the Six of Pentacles. They're coming in to try to help you balance out a situation here. This is a... Um, uh, now when we think of Libra, he's holding the Libra scale. Libra is the sign of marriage, aka love and business. So they're coming in to help you juggle this six of wands. I'm uh, sorry, with the, along with the six of pentacles, we get six of swords. And we know that uh, sixes are coming out of fives. Fives are difficult situations. This is a victory here. Getting some sort of a mental release. Mm -hmm. Trying to refuse, huh? Maybe you feel like this person has multiple options here. Even if that were the case, they're coming towards you for their happy moment. They're looking at you as someone that they want to develop and expand with a happy family, possibly even marriage. They're wanting to spend a lot of time with you here. So open yourself up here. All right. That's what I have for you here today, Virgo. Um, like, share, subscribe, that value to the channel. Love fun those are ways of grounding yourself we're here on the earth plane to partake right but yeah peace